Today we're working Woodford County, Woodford and Fayette Counties, and we're doing our annual Canada Goose Roundup. Start passing the fence. During this time of the year, mid-June to mid-July, our resident Canada Goose population is undergoing a wing molt, and the uh, vast majority of birds are flightless for some period during that time, and we take advantage of that as biologists, and that's because uh, we need to uh, know where these birds uh, are marked, how they disperse across the state and across the flyway. We need to know their survival information, and we determine that uh, or use that information to uh, set our hunting seasons and to monitor the population, whether how successful it is in our efforts to restore it and, and manage it. 41 new bands here? That's more than I thought. What we try to do is we locate uh, ponds uh, and uh, locations across the state with concentrations of geese. And we like to find a, a group of 70 or more birds uh, to round up. And that uh, makes it a little more cost effective, uh, these larger groups. And, and we try to look for uh, mixed groups of young and adults. Uh, that way we can make sure we ban the young of the year, the goslings, and, and the older birds. try to herd them away from water and put them towards a, in a location where we can surround them with a, uh, a fencing uh, structure. Come on, come on, yeah, yeah. Then uh, move them over to a, an area where we can work them up and we usually have two, three banders depending on the number of birds and uh, we at that time we'll uh, age and sex them, put a band on and then turn them loose. One, one, four, one. 84, got it. Uh, this is uh, a juvenile female. Juvenile female, 84. <laughs> juvenile female. Juvenile male. 85. Juvenile male. Oops. 85. Juvenile male. Ready to go? Yep, ready to go. Uh, five, Let's try to release the goslings with a couple recaptured adults. So when you get a couple recaptures red, just hang on to them till we have some goslings banded. As you notice today, we had birds with, uh, with bands already on them. These were bands that were placed on in previous years, and we call those recaptures. 89481. And what we do is we take that information, and we use that information too to uh, 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 determine the age structure of, of the group and and uh, to monitor, again, that band number, we know where it was put on the bird. We can go back and look at that band number and see if it was a bird that we had banded here a previous year or maybe it had come from another location. This next band, which is what, 94? Yes. It's going to replace this band number, 878 99496. We had a, a fairly uh, large group of people and, and this is in an area as open as this uh, you need a few more people to help round them up and because you have got to spread out and, and circle around the birds. Let them come out, push them out Bill, we'll see if we can't catch them, at least the goslings. Keep bringing it around, tighten it up. Uh, this is an excellent opportunity to for volunteers to help us out and while they're not aging and sexing the birds, everybody helps in trying to encircle the birds, get the fence up around them and then move them to a position where you can, uh, you can band them and, and do what we need to do. And it, it's a great opportunity for those people who have an interest in waterfowl to, uh, to see what we do and, and uh, to learn about banding and, and the importance of, of it for managing the resource. <laughs> 